Hello everyone, Mecarina has been capturing the hearts of thousands of players for several hmm. years now. But how can a newcomer effectively immerse himself in the game to understand all the mechanics right from the start? In this video, I will guide you through the beginner's path. I will show you the basics of the game, how to dominate in battles, the best weapons for newcomers, and everything you need to know if you want to start playing Mecarina. Let's get started. Mecarina is a unique project where the dynamics of the battle depend on the player and their fighting style. You can spend and half of the game standing on one edge of the map, or you can always fight head-on with enemies for control points. It may be difficult for beginners to understand all this, so we have prepared an excellent set for them, which will not only help them get used to the game, but will literally help them start dominating and find out which gameplay they enjoy more. Everyone who registers using the link in the description will get the best set at the moment. First of all, the Epic Pilot Nova. Also, importantly, the Epic Missile Rack Rocket Launcher two pieces, and many resources for leveling and development. 300 A-Coins, 10,000 credits, 500 pilot marks, and 5,000 implant parts. Missile Rack rocket launchers are not just any old cannon, they are the meta right now. When fired, they unleash a salvo of rockets that do massive area damage, and when fired from the side or back, they can do double damage. Pilot Nova's RPG specialization increases the damage of this weapon up to 47% and the resource set will allow you to buy or develop something on the strategy. You will be unrivaled in battle with the set from the link in the description. With all of this on the cheapest mech, you can confidently charge into a crowd of enemies and destroy everyone in your path thanks to the area damage of the missile rack. The advantage of this set is that on small maps, with the high damage and the pilot's damage boost, you simply have no competition. It's just overpowered. No mech, even tanks with a lot of health and shields can stand up to it. You can get the bonus from any device, PC or smartphone. On a PC, a registration form will open where you will need to create an account and download the game to your PC. From a smartphone, the process is simpler. Just click on the link on the official page where the bonuses are displayed. And then click on the single button and you will be taken to the App Store or Google Play, where you can download the game and start playing. You will also have access to another amazing bonus. After registering, log into the game for seven consecutive days to receive the epic pilot Akantha, as well as many resources. As soon as you enter the game for the first time, you will have to go through a rough tutorial. The very first tutorial room is needed to show the three basic mechanics, which are movement, capturing a base, and shooting at the enemy. There is more to come as this is just the minimum information you need to know. In the tutorial, you only need to complete a few more test battles, and after completing a full training course, you will receive all the bonuses. Now let's go over the basics of the game. Mechs. Each mech is a platform. It's not enough to just take a mech without weapons. It won't be able to do much. It's not just beautiful textures. It's a separate platform for development and expansion. Each mech has a certain amount of energy, a unique ability, and a set of characteristics. Mechs are divided into four main classes, Assault, Scout, Tank, Support. If any of them carry the same weapon, they will deal the same damage. However, by skillfully considering the mech's peculiarities and abilities, an incredible power-up can be obtained. Assault. Mechs of this class have abilities that help them storm the enemy and attack. Often, all representatives have an average armor and health. Scouts are light, fast, maneuverable machines that dodge damage and pose a threat, especially when playing with abilities. There are mechs with the stealth ability, with jump, with a lunge that deals damage on impact, and with combined abilities. Defense. Tanks of their kind, they have shields that protect not only your mech, but also the surrounding area. The thickest in terms of HP, but not mobile. One flank mechs. Support. Second and third line mechs. They damage enemies with their minds and weakness tags. A useful and most difficult type of mech with a low amount of health. By the way, speaking of healing in the game, there is only one MD mech in the game that can heal other mechs. To get more features and become stronger, you need to upgrade mechs. Increasing the level of mechs increases the amount of health they have. For the first seven levels, we simply increase the characteristics, and after the seventh level, it is possible to increase the rank of the mech. Increasing the rank gives plus one star to the mech and significantly increases the characteristics, energy, and power of the ability. Leveling up requires credits while ranking up requires A-Coins. Weapons are upgraded similarly to credits and blueprints, but instead of health, you increase damage in an additional parameter, depending on the weapon. Well, since we started talking about weapons, let's talk about weapons. The game has a huge number of weapons, and this list is expanded every season. Weapons differ in the way they work, 
in their characteristics, and of course, in their appearance. Each weapon has two unique characteristics, class-specific and type-specific. Assault weapons are the easiest to use for those who don't like to complicate things and just want to keep shooting. Rapid-fire weapons with a large ammo supply but low damage. Missile weapons, the feature is that each projectile has an explosive damage effect. The projectile deals damage in an area after colliding with a physical object. Beam weapons are guns that emit a continuous beam of damage. At first, the weapon is weak, but after upgrading, it becomes very powerful. Close quarters, in other words, shotguns, have the characteristic of maximum damage at minimum distance. Sniper weapons are rifles with high damage at long range, low reload time, and ammunition. The more distant the target, the higher the damage. Guided weapons are self-guided artillery with sufficiently high damage but medium range. The feature is target acquisition, which allows shooting and causing damage from angles. Artillery is the heaviest class. It is special because it has the maximum range of attack. It attacks in a high trajectory and deals area damage. Barrage. This type of weapon has been decided to be classified into a new category, as it is essentially a grenade launcher. The only representative is capable of throwing grenades through obstacles, has medium damage and reload time. It is a versatile weapon with its own specific use, heavy. Currently in this section are miniguns with different energy requirements. This type of weapon is perfect for mechs with very thick shields or invulnerable shields, as the enemy's destruction speed is consistently slow. And with all this variety, you could create your own preferred fighting style, but test them all in battle, because not every build you come up with will be effective. You could play from a distance without getting close to the enemy, you could be in constant contact with the enemy to prevent them from advancing, it still depends on the map because not everywhere will you be able to play with long-range weapons, because there might not be well-penetrated points, or javelins might not work everywhere because they hit the ceiling and do not reach the target. It all depends on the map. Just remember the three basics of building efficiency for mechs. One, weapons. What is their range and damage? To understand how quickly you will disassemble tank class mechs. Two, mech. It is important to know what your movement speed will be and the ability to understand in any situation where you can gain an advantage with this ability. 3. Map Is the map open? How many shelters are on the map? And are there long clear corridors? These are the three key points to understanding how to dominate. They will determine whether you will be effective on every map and in every mode. Now let's talk about something that doesn't add any new functionality in combat but does significantly improve characteristics. The first thing to mention is pilots. A pilot can be installed on a mech. Pilots increase base stats and damage from certain types of weapons they specialize in. Pilots can be equipped with implants that increase the damage of certain weapons and enhance the abilities of certain mechs. Implants can be upgraded to provide a greater bonus to weapon efficiency and skills. The number of implants they can have depends on the rarity of the champion. Exclusive pilots have a passive bonus and double weapon specialization. They are not currently available for purchase. However, from time to time events are held where such exclusives are available. Pilots are relatively expensive for a beginner, but they are cheaper than weapons that cost more than 5,000 acoins or 500,000 credits. There is no need to buy them right away. Since you already have the Pilot Nova, it is best to decide what kind of mechs you want, what kind of weapons you want, and then buy a pilot when you start your first build. How to level up quickly in the game? In Mech Arena, it is not possible to level up to a super account with highly upgraded mechs and weapons in just two to three days, as there are many aspects related to systematic leveling and currency. This game requires time and a high level of progression, and there are daily limits on experience boosts. The division is leveled separately. It determines how difficult the player will be in matchmaking. The level also levels separately, because the higher the level, the more weapon innovations you unlock. Well, the strength of the mechs also increases individually. It works the same way as the division. The higher the strength of the mechs, the more advanced the opponents are. There is a secret for players that I can't help but share with you. During playoff tournaments, you can win with a 100% chance. Here's what we do. In this tournament, there will be a mandatory condition of obtaining and spending A-coins. It's always like that. During this time, there are many advantageous promotions that allow you to get a lot of A-coins very cheaply. Then, when you spend coins, you get even more points to win the tournament. So, if we donate 1,000 coins, we get 2,000 points. And then we spend them and get another 1,000 points and upgrade something. This way, we have a 100% chance of winning the tournament. But what kind of mech and what kind of weapons do you need to dominate and become a pro? 
The easiest way is to go to the clan tab and select the top three clans and look at each player's hangar to see what they use and in combination with what mechs. But it will be difficult for a beginner to build the same builds as the top players. So I have two new builds for you that beginners can easily level up and play with. The first build is based on a gift set and is the most overpowered. As the missile rack is currently in the meta, this weapon is great for taking out enemies at both close and long range. The second main part of the build is Pilot Nova. It will provide more weapon damage and you will simply be more effective. Next, the base on which we will attach the mech Puma. The basic amount of energy will allow you to hang two rocket launchers at once. The ability creates a barrier that can absorb a lot of damage. It could be used as a temporary cover through which you can fire without consequences until the shield is knocked down. This is the most overpowered build for a beginner. Use it. Second build for ranged players. This requires the Arachnos mech. You can get it for free as a newbie by completing the starter derby. It starts with a total of 12 energy and can deploy a turret in front of it, which fends off approaching enemies with defensive fire but does not deal a lot of damage. The sniper long arm is suitable as a weapon. The tactics are very simple and suitable for a maximum passive gameplay, but with no less effective result. The range of 180 meters allows you to reach the enemy from half of the map and inflict the most painful critical hits. And what about the game modes? Specifically, which ones should you play in? Normal Capture and 5v5 are good for beginners. You will learn all the maps, understand how to position yourself on the map, and know where to use your mech better. After that, start participating in tournaments, find friends and start playing 2v2, which is the most challenging mode where you rely on tactics and teamwork. Gradually, play one for a week, then the other, and you won't even notice how you get used to it. Regarding high level play, I have a high level account that I play on. Compared to beginners, the battles are much faster and you die more often because people love to play one shot builds. It's a pleasure. To win, I highly recommend playing on a PC as you can react more quickly to what's happening in the game. As I mentioned before, players already have a lot of one shot weapons, like the EM rifle, which literally kills everyone with one shot. All combat has become more difficult, but faster overall as the team is now your living shield and you are either part of that shield or standing off to the side protecting allies. Playing at high levels requires an excellent knowledge of the map, understanding where everyone can be, where snipers are, and picking positions to quickly escape enemy fire. The essence of a high level game is tournaments. Participate in each of them to take the top spot and receive maximum rewards. The game has one gameplay condition that personally annoys me a bit, and that is the leveling limit. Roughly speaking, you can only gain a limited amount of experience per day. When I first started leveling up, this really annoyed me because I'd literally play for two hours and that's it. I'd hit the cap and I'd get practically nothing. After midnight, it will update and you can continue to download. By the way, to play with a friend, all you have to do is find each other by personal ID in the profile or in the Plarium launcher. That way you can form a party and start dominating with tactics. Playing with friends is much easier because you help each other, protect each other, and the overall chance of winning is much higher. Donation is available, as in all free-to-play games. There are always different discounts and promotions. Donation provides faster leveling and helps you to level up an account quickly or obtain a highly desired item in the game. Personally, I couldn't resist and did it, because there are a few things you just can't miss. I recommend buying the Ares mech. It is an excellent tank mech in terms of parameters. Its shield allows you to be both mobile and dangerous at the same time. It is a wonderful purchase that I still use on my account. Another excellent purchase would be the EM Rifle Cannon. This is an energy sniper weapon and one of the most long range high damage weapons. If you want to one shot an enemy, put a couple of these on a mech and dominate. I already have these two items in my personal arsenal and I do not regret getting them as I have gotten overpowered items in the game. As for how to make in-game purchases, you need to select the item, then you will be redirected to a browser with payment options. To purchase the item, you need to fill in the payment fields with your card information or choose another convenient method. The purchase will be credited to your account immediately. In general, we have shown you the most important things a beginner needs to know. Now you know what to do in the game. All the basic mechanics are clear and easy to understand. The most important thing is not to level up too fast so that you can easily catch up with everyone and not suffer from the more advanced players. Collect currency, level up massively, and try out all the equipment that is available. Also, if you are interested in guides for different weapons and mechs, write about it in the comments. 
I will easily make guides for you, as I have almost everything. Don't hesitate to write, your demand generates new videos. Remember to register using the link in the description to receive exclusive gifts. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and like the video. Also, I have selected some interesting videos for you to watch. Goodbye everyone.